in, in India, Arabs, wherever we at. We've been scattered all over the place. God said that we are like the sand of the seas. We can't be numbered. And we've been scattered all over the world. Right, Read. And then thou shalt serve other gods. In those lands we will serve other gods. What's up, bro? Which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. Because our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, wasn't serving no goddamn no so-called white man and call himself Jesus. They wasn't serving no doggone uh, person that called himself Allah because of the Prophet Muhammad. Show me who the same people that God sent out of Exodus. And how okay. are y'all making slaves? Right. That's a big gap. That's a big gap. How are y'all making slaves? I'm going to show you exactly. That's a good question. That's exactly what I'm talking about right now. How are we the people? We have been delivered. Look, so check it out. Check it out. All right. What's your name, boss? Solo. Solo. All right, Solo. I'm Eli. So this is the exact same thing that we was talking about. He came up with the perfect question. How are we the children of Israel? Now, he read in Daniel earlier. You wouldn't hear when he read that, right? You remember what, he, what Daniel said? Read that real fast, 9 and 11. And then... I'm going to show you how we are. Now, tell me this. Solo, come on, let me, bro. Did this happen to our people? I wasn't there. But that's what he said happened. There's only words right now, I believe. Okay, I got you. So, it's tell, me, right tell me about what happened to our people I'm not doing the right now. Doing the no, 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 no. I'm not doing the teaching. I'm here to receive. I have I I'm have to relate. I gotta see you. I am a teacher. Come on, come on, Leon. I got you. Question. That's where I'm at. I got you. I want to know where. That's where I'm at spiritually. Okay, I got you. Me what happened to our people? They got delivered from Israel to the ones that had to be enunciated from independence in 1770. Leon, make me the same people. Did this happen to our people? So that to me, he said it. So that it did, right? This happened to our people, right? We Daniel 9 and 11, Rusty. Daniel chapter 9, verse 11. Yea, all Israel have transgressed thy law. So all of the children of Israel went against God's laws. That's what he's stating, right? Read. Even by the party that they might not obey thy voice. They didn't obey God's word. His word told us to do something. We didn't do it, right? Read. Therefore, the curse is poured upon us in the oath that is written in the law of Moses. So the curse is poured upon us in the oath that's written in the law of Moses. Hold that. Let's get the oath written in the law of Moses. Give me Deuteronomy 28 and 15. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments. So he said, if we don't do all his commandments, pay attention, Leon. And his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses. What did Daniel say was going to come? A curse, right? So Moses was telling us that if we didn't keep God's commandments, all these what? That all these curses. Is curses a good thing? No. Is curses a good thing? No. So you would describe it as being an evil thing, correct? Yeah. All these curses? Shall come upon thee and overtake thee. All these curses will come upon us and overtake us, meaning what? We wouldn't be able to do nothing about it, right? Right. right. Hold that. Go back to Daniel and where you left off at. What? The that they might not obey thy voice. Therefore the curse is brought upon us. And the oath that is written in the law of Moses. Because when after Moses said that, we said, all that you say, Lord, we would do. That was the oath that we made. Right? Read. The servant of God, because we have sinned against him. So why did the curses come upon us? We had sin against him. Because we sinned. Remember it said earlier, he said, transgress God's law. That's because sin is the transgression of God's law. Right? Read. And he has confirmed his word. He confirmed his word. How did he confirm his word? Because what he said was going to happen actually happened. For instance, what happened to us in slavery, Ms. Lynn? We was um, beaten and stuff. We was beaten? Okay, what happened to us, Ms. Dorothy? Um, what else happened to us? We was hung on trees? Okay, yeah. what else? Yeah, he was hung on the cross. Mm -hmm. What else happened to us in, in slavery? Uh, but we all had to, uh, what's called, repent. 
What, I'm, I'm asking you historically what happened to us in slavery. Okay, they whipped us. That, yeah. They hanged us from the tree. Uh -huh. Put chains on us. Put chains on us. Yeah. Okay. What about you, Leon? What happened to us in slavery? We broke, uh, broke us down to the lowest oh. level. Broke us down to the lowest level, right? To the point that where we we just have to deal with whatever they say. To the point that we don't even know who we are, right? right. A lot of us, that was, I'm going to let you know today, the two most bloodiest religions in the world is Christianity and Islam. Right. Our people have been forced in that. Right. The same thing that happened under the so-called white man happened under the so-called Arabs too. They beat us. You, honestly, you can look it up still today. In the 1900s, slavery was still going on with the Arabs. In 2000s, it was still going on. It is still going on over there. We just had a class, the bitch was going over a class last, last Sabbath, about how it's still going on in Arabs. The Arabs are still having our people in slavery. Right. That's not your religion. I'm going to show you today. Watch this. Keep going. And he has confirmed his words, which he speak against us, and against our judges that judge us. By bringing upon us a great evil. A what? A great evil. A what? A great evil. What you said, them curses was? It's an evil thing, right? What's right. going on, Big God? Come here real quick. Come here, with the shorts. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here. Talk to me. Hey, come back over here. That is, it'll be over there when you get there. Come back. <laughs> See what I'm saying? This what, this, as you stated, beat us down to the lowest state. To the point that we're trying to teach our people about how great they are, and they don't even want to hear it. They'll ask the question, and as you try to give them the answer, they walk the hell away. Finish that. By bringing upon us a great evil, for under the whole heaven has not been done as has been done upon Jerusalem. So the people of Jerusalem, what happened to them has happened to no other people. Right? That's what it says. That's what's prophesied, right? Now go to Deuteronomy 28 and 68. How we get here? On the slave boats. On the slave boats. Now I want you to I want you to understand what Moses said was going to happen to the children of Israel. Who the Quran say is the chosen people. In fact, we're going to read that too. Hold on, read that. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. Right. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So they went back into bondage out with ships. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Quick question. Hey, how do we get over here? What was the means of transportation that our people got to this land? By boat? Watch what the Lord said was going to happen to the children of Israel. Read it again. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. The Lord said that that was going to happen to the children of Israel. When we check historically, that happened to nobody else but us. Then who must we be? Mm-hmm. The children of Israel, hey. God's chosen people. Right. Make sure you check it out. You need, might as well pull over, bro. Whatever you wait on is gonna be there. Watch this, man. Go read, Leon. Check this out. You said we had chains on us, right? Go to uh, verse forty-eight. Verse forty-eight. Therefore, shalt thou serve thine enemies. God said they was what? Serve thine enemies. Don't get it twisted. The so-called Arabs and the so-called white people are our enemies, according to God. They hate you because they hate your God. And because they can't touch your God, they come after you. Read it again. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger, For food. and in thirst, Water. and in nakedness, clothing, chief things of life, right? And in want of all things. And lack of everything. What's going on, big aunt? I know you don't remember me, man. Hey, man, come on, let me, man. Pull over. Pull over. So he said, in lack of all things, come on. And he, and he, that same enemy, the so-called white man and the Arab man, read. Shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Said he was going to put yokes of iron on your neck. Didn't that happen to your people? Didn't that happen to your people? God said it was going to happen to who? Our people. Our people, which is who? The children of Israel. We ain't African Americans. That's disrespectful. Let me, let me ask you this. No, no, no. I understand. That's what we've been taught. I ain't beating you up about it. I'm just letting you know that you should think of that as being disrespectful. Don't let nobody call you that no more. 
God said that you are a prince or a princess that has power with God. You are his praise. We, what's uh, your father? What was his nationality be? So-called African-American as well? Okay, so according to the Bible, the so-called blacks of America are from the tribe of Judah. God's praise. You are the praise of God. You're not a doggone African-American. You're not black. You ain't colored. You ain't Afro-American. I know you done heard all these different names throughout your life. You ain't that. God said you far greater than that. Watch this. Uh, that, put the yokes of iron. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he hath destroyed thee. So my man was talking about in the 1700s, mm -hmm. right? When we were supposed to be free, right? And we was over here on slave. That means we were took, the yokes of iron was taken off of our neck and put on our mind because we were destroyed. As you said, they broke us down to the worst state because we were destroyed mentally. How? To the point that the day we'll see a sister and instead of marrying her, we'll lay with her and leave her with the baby to raise it by herself. Even to the point that the sisters, instead of looking at themselves as a princess and putting on a beautiful garment to cover up their body, they'll flaunt it to coerce that man into wanting to lay with them. Our people don't know how great they are. But you're going to find out. Despite the destruction that Islam pay attention to you, tell them you call them back, stop disturbing you. Say you busy. God, God is trying to let you know, despite what Christianity has done to our people, despite what Islam has done to our people, we're still his chosen, and he's going to bring us out of that dunghill. We're going to be those dead bones that rise up and put on that flesh and take in the breath of life, which is these commandments. You understand? Now go to uh, verse 64. This is how we were destroyed. Watch this. Verse 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people. Now how were we scattered among all people? Because we went into slavery on slave ships, right? Read. From the one end of the earth, uh -huh. even unto the other. Because even over here, over in, in Europe, in Australia, all the different parts of Africa, in, in, in India, Arabs, wherever we at, we've been scattered all over the place. God said that we are like the sand of the seas, we can't be numbered. And we've been scattered all over the world, right? Read. And there thou shalt serve other gods. In those lands we will serve other gods. What's up, bro? Which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. Because our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, wasn't serving no goddamn no so-called white man that called himself Jesus. They wasn't serving no doggone uh, person that called himself Allah because of the prophet Muhammad. That Islam crap came out 600 and something years after the death of Christ. How in the hell was we serving that? Read on. Even wood and what's the wood? Christianity, that cross, and what? And stone. Islam, the cobblestone. Now, the, does it they tell you to follow the laws that's written in the Torah? Yeah. They do, right? Give me Leviticus 26. Let's see, according to the most high God, if you should be doing certain things that Islam teaches the people to do. You ever heard of the Hajj? What is that? Uh, the Hajj is a picture you take once, once in your lifetime. Uh, you, go around the you go to Mecca. Do you know what Mecca was really known for? It was known for selling your people. That was one of the biggest slave ports ever. Now watch this. What they do at, at, when they go to Mecca? They walk around what? The Kaaba, the Kaaba what? Kaaba what? What is it called? The Kaaba what? The Kaaba stone. Let's see what God say. Let's see what they tell you to do. They tell you to follow the Torah, right? To follow the laws in the Torah, right? That's what they tell you to do? Let's see what the Torah tells you about stones. Read it. Leviticus chapter 26, verse 1. Come on, he shall make you no idols, nor graven image, nor rear you up a standing image. Neither shall you set up any image of stone. Of what? Of stone. Of what? Of stone in your land to bow down. 
down to uh, do what? To go down unto uh, it. Do not they walk around this stone and they go and kiss it and do all this? Ain't that what they do? No. What? You, you, oh, come on, man, bro. They don't kiss the stone. Man, you they crazy? Don't... I see what they do. I ain't never seen a herd with kissing no stones, sir. Oh, wow. They is it, it. The thing looked like a ball. I never. Seen it looked like a, it looked like a woman's lady parts, and they they do this and they kiss it. And they worship. They worship the stone. Yeah. Guess what? Yep. The Torah said, "Don't wear up an, an image of stone and worship it." Yep. So guess what? Now, what we done learned is, the Quran tells you that the children of Israel are the chosen people. Right. It also tells you that you're supposed to believe in the words of Moses, which is the Torah. Right. The words of Moses tell you you're not supposed to bow down to a stone. So are they really teaching you correctly? Bring it out, right? No. Bring it down to the stone. Right, you worshiping the stone. You walking around that stone, you worshiping the stone. That's what it is. Right. That's what it is. Right. Have you been there? No. Have you did the Hodge? No. You ain't even been there. No. Guess what? You don't need to go. Right. Because God said That's don't right. worship a stone. Right. That's it. Right. Yeah. That's what it is right there. God said, don't do it. Says, why do Muslims kiss the black stone? Kissing the black stone is an act of worship in which a Muslim kisses a stone to which he has no connection except worshiping Allah. Wow. Cold blood. Yeah. Yeah. Don't do it. Come out of her, my people. That's what God said. Don't, it, I see your mind conflicted with, with thoughts. Come on, talk to me. I don't know nothing about kissing no stone. That's the first time I've seen or heard somebody kissing a stone, sir. But that's what they teach. That's what they teach. That is what they tell the people to do. And what I'm telling you is, God said, don't do it. God said, don't put no other gods before me. That is another God before him. Don't do it. Now I'm gonna tell you. Give me the uh, the um, the cross and Habakkuk. Bring it up. Because a lot of people in Christianity, what they wear around their neck, what they get tattooed on them, a cross, right? Yeah. I heard you baby mention to it earlier about hanging on the cross, yeah. and our people they hold fast to it because what image are they thinking of when they think of the cross? And what he look like? But is that what the Bible say? Do the Bible depict him as that? Like this? No, hey, Right. So I'm saying, if it's a so-called white man, do the Bible depict him as a white man? No, it don't. Right. But when our people are wearing that cross, what image are they thinking of? Are they thinking of a so-called black man or a white man? They thinking of a white man. Right. This is why the Lord said, "Don't deal with them in those people." Right? Watch this. Habakkuk chapter two, verse eighteen. Yeah. What prophet? The graven image. What prophet is the graven image? The the image that they have graved out of wood. Right? right. That the maker thereof has graven it. Because a person had to have made this thing that they now deem and worship as a god, even though they say it's not one. Right. But the way that they carry it, the way they hold it, they think that it's going to keep them out of trouble, that the Lord is watching over them as long as they got it on them. That's why some people say, well, I'm going to go and get it tatted on my body. Right. Read. The molten image. The molten image because a lot of them were melted down out of different metals, right? And a teacher of lies. It's a teacher of what? A teacher of lies. That cross is a teacher of lies. Right. Because just as you said, when they look at that cross, they think of a so-called white man. That's not your savior. Right. It's no different than our people that deal with, with Islam. Because when they say Middle East, they think of Arabs. Right. There's no such thing as a Middle East. Wait, come on. That, that land over there is the land that God gave to his chosen people, the children of Israel, that they now uh, live in. And they fight with the so-called Jewish people over our land. The good news is they ain't going to be there forever. God has a recompense for what they have done to his chosen people, the people whom he loved. 
Do you know that? That God only loves a specific people? But they ain't gonna teach you that in Islam, and they ain't gonna teach you that in Christianity. Leon, don't let this information slip you, bro. I, you trying to edge your way. So now, hold on, Leon, before you go. Who are the children of Israel? Huh? The so-called black people. The people of whom you descend from. God's chosen people. I got to read it real quick. Deuteronomy 7, hold that. I got to show you that, that who the chosen people, that they are the chosen people. The Bible say they're the chosen people. Watch this. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. For thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord God said that the children of Israel is a holy people unto him, meaning he separated them from everybody else. Come on. Right. The Lord thy God has chosen thee. Has done what? Chosen thee. Has done what? Chosen thee. The Lord chose the children of Israel, which are the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. What's right. going on, IT? You all right? Boy, come holler at me. Come back. <laughs> the Lord said he chose who? Has chosen thee. To be a special people. God said that you're special unto him. How special? The fact he's you're so special unto God that he's gonna judge everybody that has done your people wrong. That's how special you are to God. Read. Unto himself. Uh -huh. Above. A what? Above. A what? Above. We are not equal to any other nation. What is a nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is 